Hi everyone, my name is Justin and I am the creator of Audio Rose and Audio Mint. Today I'll be showing you guys how to use Audio Rose. If you guys have used Audio Mint before, Audio Rose basically has the same setup. So first we log in with our email and password. And if you don't have an account with us yet, you can uh, make one at zerebricks.com or you can simply click this hyperlink here and it'll take you through the login process. And if you would like to skip the login step, next time you open the program, you can simply tick this Remember Me box. Okay, now that we are in, we can drag in an audio file. I have a sample set aside right here. Now, before we split this mix up, let's go over the buttons at the top. This uh, scissors, this button that looks like a scissors, it's a slicing tool that you can use to separate a smaller piece of the sample before separating the file. So you can select any piece here. Um, I'm going to select this piece right here for to demonstrate the tool to you guys. So let's play... Uh, Let's play this this sample right here and just so you guys get an idea of how the mix sounds before we separate it. So now this uh, second button here will allow us to change the output of the separator from mono to stereo. And uh, the next time you open up the program, it will remember which setting you had set before and keep that setting the next time you open it. So for this, so I'm just going to leave uh, it at mono for this sample. Okay, so now that we have our sample selected and all of our settings are what we want, um, now it's time to separate. So when you separate, when you click the separate button, it will show a prompt asking you which stems you would like to isolate. There are only four stems listed here, but the last stem, which we call accompaniment, is composed of all instruments which are not in the first four. So for example, if I had a song that contained piano, trombone, vocals, and drums, and I picked vocals and drums, and vocals and drums will get their own stems, but we will also have the trombone and piano and accompaniment. So uh, for this part, I only recommend I recommend uh, only selecting uh, stems which are actually present in the song. Of course, you don't have to, but you're going to get the best results if you only select stems that are actually present in the song. So in this, in, in our case, this song uh, contains a. Uh, all, all these instruments in the song. So I'm going to go ahead and select all four stems. So when you click the separate button, it will take anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes to separate, depending on how big your audio sample is. All right, so uh, actually that was, that was even faster. But anyways, so... So now let's play around uh, with our results. So first let's play everything together. As you can see, I can control the gain of each stem individually. I can take out the drums, or I can take out the vocals, I can bring the bass up or down, and it does quite a good job. All 
right, that concludes the tutorial. I will close off the video with some examples of isolated stems from different songs using the program. And uh, if you guys have any comments, feedback, or suggestions, please leave those below. And thank you for watching. Waterfalls won't stop until he hears that curtain calling. Yeah, when he's calling, he's a short tempered ADD problem kid. Never can know or see where the problem. Waterfalls. Won't stop until he hears that curtain calling, yeah, when it's calling. He's a short-tempered ADD problem kid, never could know or see where the problem The time the room seems to tick by Whatever sees it, oh I leave it So no reason not to try Except the fatigue that leads to the red to bleed through my eye I don't wanna spend my whole life as a ghost so overtired There's more to this